When you look at the champions, Shivana wants to be diving headlong into you. I did. Juke has backed away. This red buff is going to Rocket. Yeah, complete advantage in favor of Rocket. Alliance did not want to contest because their low level damage simply did not match that of Rocket. Nedily and 89. Oh, Shook and like Zazas is. is in trouble. Zazas is in trouble. He's not going to be able to get away. He's going to flash away. Will the slow come down? Dragon Descent does catch him. Just tweaked him in towards that bushes. And that will be first blood for Wicked. Very well played. Wicked and Shook just landing everything there. Oh, Rocket pushed too far though. They're going to see Wicked. Come around the side. Nif does manage to flash. Hook on towards the overpower. The culling comes out, but Nif's taking a lot of damage. Shook comes around the side, does not get himself the kill. Nif goes down. Wicked, that ultimate is about to wear out. He can't go too deep with this one. The spear does come through. And Alliance, well, they managed to force Rock out away, but they lost Nif in the process. And well, Death Cap is underway for Frog, and he just went and got an easy large rock. Meanwhile, Zazas is going to get pounced on on towards that turret. Took his ultimate Q plus Blade of the Rune King. Zazas subjugates up, the tower's going to go down. They're going to go for him. He does have to flash away from this one. Has he got enough to get away? No, he's not, because Shook flashes back on towards it. They get themselves a kill. Yeah, they just chased him down, and Jankos is trying to find Frog. But this may well be the wrong target. Wicked's going to come around the side. He hasn't got that Dragon Descent available, but they can't chase nearly down a patient game the problem is they need to get deep they need to go past those outer turrets and get in on rocket tabs is probably going to get caught out here comes jankos from the side the stealth comes out from jankos is it going to be enough they're trying to flash through they do manage to catch him that could be enough with the root prison down the barrier comes out the culling is on him but he will get taken down by the claws and overpower manages to finish the job but look what it has created for alliance they're going for baron the rest of rocket know about it though. there are teleports on the side of rocket alliance did the right call to back away if Zach has just a good team fight for them. Vanda is caught out just a little. Froggen going aggressive. He has got that brilliant spot used. The spear is not going to find his target on Vanda. And now we do see Silver putting pressure on towards that mid tower. Vanda's going to try and keep him at bay here. He gets pounced on. The damage comes through, but the spear does not. Shook instead flashes for it. He gets himself a kill. Salavar's the next focus target. Rockout did get themselves the mid turret. Can they Ooh. get a bottom turret as well? The spear lands on towards Salavar. He has going to try and run away from this one. Froggen, he's going to chase the gap. He does manage to get another spear down. Barrier was enough to keep it away. Meanwhile, Rockout, they take down that bottom turret. Yankos, he's now caught out. Death Sentence did not land and Yankos does manage to be the wrong time, the wrong thing to do. They do have Yankos coming down. They will have spotted Niff and Shook, but he's overpowered. They have no idea he's there. Teleport coming in. Zazas is going to join the party. He teleports onto the minion. It's going to be a three on three. It's a melee, but Frog is going to join the party as well. Niff gets a flay on towards Yankos. They're going to try and focus him. Not really the right time because instead, Shook gets focused. He's the tankiest member of the team. The rocket doesn't quite land. Zazas does finally get in there. Niff's going to get caught out. He actually takes the death sentence into the fight for some reason. He goes down. It's a two for zero. And Rocket are going to keep on pushing. Frog now caught out. The jumper's not quite enough to catch on towards him. The leap from Yankos is not going to get him close. For overpower, but Zazas has it. He can come from the base. Alliance may be in trouble. It's only a two man Baron, and Wicked has not been able to go back either. So he's only a half health just off of the side here. Not really a part in this fight. The Baron taking very low. Nice. He's only got 600 down. They do manage to finish it off. Now, what can Rocket do about it? Can they try and cap capitalize on them low hit points? You can see Nip. Big heal comes out from Frog, and as you mentioned, the Colin just enough to keep him away. Biancos goes jumping in, but it's only the support he's catching out. Shook meanwhile catches his ultimate, catches three members down there. Lucian doing the damage. Salabar tries to flash away, but Shook capitalized on that one. Tabs gets himself a second kill. He's chasing on towards Zazas. Zazas is going to get caught out. Shook runs away, and he goes straight headlong into Frog, and gets the damage Whoa. down, takes the lantern. Zazas gets taken down by Frog, and it's a three for zero and a power for Alliance. Help of Vander, and he will get secured. That's the first Dragon the Alliance. A way too slow to react. And let's not forget, Tabs with that Guardian engage right now. It is the inhibitor going down. Zazas, he's taken half hit points. One spear lands, and he has nothing that Rocket do to defend this. Zazas is just getting melted so good. They're called Frog! They jumped on Frog and they get him down. Super Mega Death Rocket get him the execute. Now they're going to go towards Shook. The leap comes out from Yankos, but you can see how tanky he is. They do take the support down. Yankos using his ultimate to try and speed himself up. The leap will be back available in a moment. Tabs realizes that. Runs interference. They pop the cork. There's not land on towards Selva. Now Wicked's going to join the party. They may try and turn this fight on his head. The Cullin putting damage down towards Selva. This is a 3v5 with Alliance chasing on towards him. There's going to be the Dragon Descent. They jump on towards it. Alliance tanks all the damage while Shook goes down. It may be a mistake by Alliance's path. Wicked does drop as well. Now Tabs is going to get focused on. He's dead. The Guardian Angel is just going to simply resurrect him back into the fight that he does not want to be involved in. It's an ace for Rocket. Now there was method in the madness. Alliance stuck around too long, but they were super situation again. Well, let's not forget the Baron came around from positional advantage simply there. 
Banshee's veiled by Sullivan. Well, it does oh, himself. Oh, caught out again. Does himself favours. I'm not too sure if this is going to quite be enough. Oh. The lantern flash from Nip pulls Froggen across from two. <laughs> wow, that was great. That was so great. Nip at the beginning of the split was not a very good thresh. He did not land his hooks. His lantern ganks were not very impressive. Right there, that was so good. They've had to pause the game to <laughs> give him a high five because he manages to th respond. This is that crazy, crazy lantern. Slow. Look at the timing on that. It was so good from for Alliance. This surely could signal the end for Rocket. They knew they couldn't defend that one. Catches a spear, loses half his hit points from Froggen. And I think this is what Alliance need to keep doing. Oh, they've caught Salva. Oh, that was a great. Death sentence onto Sullivan. The Wicked dives in there. Wicked's gonna go down, but it's gonna be the price of the AD carry. No, Wicked almost getting away. Shook taking a lot of damage. There's a good focus here from Rocket. They're gonna get on towards Nif, but look at Tabs. He's just clearing up in the background. Gets on towards Overpower. One more shot. Not quite enough. He does. He gets it. He takes down the mid laner. An alliance with four members alive could finish the game right here. They can finish the game. They've got. They're gonna take their seventh win on a row. An equal for Natics. Crazy streak. What? What a turnaround it has been for Alliance! The Matched Fanatics win streak for the Spring Split of 2014. If they win tomorrow against SK Gaming, they will match Gambit's win streak from last...